that one has to understand that the time has come for you to get all that is promised in the scriptures. I have accepted this role consciously, not unconsciously. To me, nothing is unconscious. You are the people who are chosen by God. Especially, first to express your desire and then to achieve it. Why are you on this earth? What is the purpose of your life? What is the goal of your life? But today is the day I declare that I am the one who has to save the humanity. I declare I am the one who is Adisha, who is the mother of all the mothers who is the primordial mother, the Shakti, the desire of God, who has incarnated on this earth to give its meaning to itself, to this creation, to human beings. And I'm sure through my love and patience and my powers, I'm going to achieve it. I was the one who was born again and again. Now in my complete form and complete power, I have come on this earth not only for salvation of human beings, not only for their emancipation, but for granting them the kingdom of heaven the joy, the bliss that your father wants to bestow upon you. And today is the day of Guru Puja, not my Puja, but your Puja as Gurus. I anoint all of you as Gurus And today I will tell you what I have bestowed upon you and what great powers you already have within you. Among you there are people who are still not been able to recognize my announcement will work it out within them the recognition without recognition you cannot see the play without play you cannot have confidence within yourself. Without confidence, you cannot become Guru. Without becoming Guru, you cannot help others. And without helping others, you are not going to be in any way happy. So, to break the chain,
is very easy. But to build the chain one after another is what you have to do. This is what you were all wanting to be. So be confident and be joyous and be happy that all my powers will protect you, my love will nourish you, and my nature will fill you with peace and joy. I'll have to tell you the story about the Sastra day about which it was decided long time back. Before I incarnated, They had a big meeting in the heavens. All the thirty-five crores of gods, the deities, were there present to decide what is to be done. This is the ultimate that we have to do to human beings, to open their sastrara, to open their awareness to the Spirit, to the real knowledge of the Divine, to remove the darkness of ignorance, And it had to be spontaneously because it has to work the living force of God. Also, it had to be very quick. So, all the gods requested that now I, the Adi Shakti, has to take the birth. Mother, please come in my heart. Let me clean my heart so that you are there. Put your feet into my heart. Let your feet be worshipped in my heart. Let me not be in delusion. Take me away from illusions. Keep me in reality. Take away the sheen of superficiality. Let me enjoy your feet in my heart. Let me see your feet in my heart. Only such people. Even Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha have done that. Don't you think you have to do it? So humble down yourself. Humble down yourself in your heart. Humble down in your heart. Enjoy your humility. Enjoy your virtues. The greatest virtue of a surgery is humility. Now, so many things you have seen convince you. When we talk, we should talk with that dignity of that awe. That's very important. And once you develop that awe, your ekadasha will disappear. Just think of the awe.
see the silence and the joy and the the, the joy of the all is deep, very deep like a sea. See, on superficial level is very turbulent, but inside is silent. Feel that depth. Without awe, you cannot go down. 